Alright, two things about this video is one, Prada came for uh making his merch. He finally got through with making his merch. And uh well, he isn't done with it, it's still in like R and D and that kind of stuff. So he's still like he didn't put it out yet pretty much. But proud of you for doing that, because this thing's pretty fire. I like the pink and the black. I feel like it's a good color combo. But another thing is I'm wearing slippers out here. I don't ever wear slippers outside, just letting y'all know. But that's not about today's video. I want to be outside. Y'all might hear a lot of road noise, people playing, cars passing by, and all that kind of stuff. But just bear with me. I just wanted to catch a little fresh air for today's video. And uh, today's video is going to be like a little bit more of a sensitive topic because it's not something I usually talk about. It's not something I usually try to portray for my channel. But here I am doing so. And first things first, I'm going to start off with... 2020 being one of the roughest years in history for everybody on the globe, everybody in the United States, and for me personally, hold on, let me wait till this car passes by. I'm not going to get all into my personal problems or what I actually had to go through, but there were a lot of hiccups with me just finding out what I want out of what I'm going to do with my life and just certain things along that lines, but uh, I've been telling Kiera about it and she knows pretty much the gist of everything I'm talking about. So everybody else, like I said, just bear with me with all of this. But as we do know, the coronavirus did hit us very hard in 2020, along with the whole Black Lives Matter thing and the political side of everything with President Trump and everything going on with that. And me personally, I'm just like in my own little world with all this because I try not to let all of that affect me but then again I do see how all of that can affect me and how all of that does affect me and I just try to stay like optimistic and on my own side of the fence with things but one thing that has been bothering me is with all of that going on and uh, me looking at other YouTubers and how they cope with all of this stuff and for instance I look at TJ Hunt for instance and he's one of the bigger if not the biggest automotive vlogger on the platform and he's been doing pretty good things I've been following him literally since 2013 like December 2013 and he's been doing a lot of good things for himself that's seven years ago yeah a little over seven years ago and I would like to say congratulations to him um I just recently started watching Evan Shanks Adam LZ uh, I've been watching that dude in blue for a while and all of them have had great followings. Dustin Williams, for instance, all of them have great followings, including myself as one of their followers. And uh, one thing that I do notice about the platform is it's not with everybody across the board, but I do notice that there are a lot more successful people like them rather than successful people like me. And that lately has been taking a toll on me. I know that's not like one of the biggest things I need to be worrying about, but I have been thinking about that lately and that has just been something on my mind. I mean, don't get me wrong, there are people with bigger channels that do YouTube successfully that look like me, but not as many, especially in the car community. And one thing about that is you have to pay to play. And with paying to play, if you don't come from anything with that kind of money, then you have to find certain things that people like. And the, the things that people like tend to be the things that cost the most whenever dealing with cars and stuff like that. Or you just have to have this wow factor about you. And that is another thing that I don't think I found about myself is like what's so wow about myself. But I just try to be myself in my videos. I try to incorporate that and one thing that I do try to be as a perfectionist I know that I am not perfect but I try to be as close to perfect and correct that I can be and that sometimes reflects in my videos and I get kind of down and discouraged whenever videos don't come out a certain way or something didn't go right while I was recording and stuff like that and it just drains me of all my energy and I know that's something that I need to work on and that's something that I need to get better at if I'm going to continue on this platform because YouTube ain't got time for that. Back whenever I started in January 2017, I made it a point to upload every four days. I don't know if y'all remember that, but I uploaded every four days and that was probably the most consistent that I was. I don't know where I was pulling this content from, but I was doing it and 
that's something that I've been slacking on and I wanted y'all to hold me accountable to that. And like y'all doing that, like all you have to do is leave a comment, let me know, hey PJ, you said you were gonna upload every three days at such and such day, why aren't you doing that? Or telling me like certain video ideas that y'all would like to see or tell me what's wrong with my videos. Like grill me in the comment section. I read all of that. I try to use that to make myself better. And I haven't been getting pretty much any feedback or anything from y'all. And that's one thing that I want to push forward from here on out if I'm going to continue on this platform. And before I go any farther with this video, I do want to let y'all know that I do appreciate each and every one of y'all for just clicking on my videos, watching it. Even though I noticed that most of my views are not coming from you guys, the subscribers, I'm saying this because I am not saying that any of this is y'all's fault. Even though with YouTube, the algorithm does portray that the more engagement and activity that the following or the viewers do on a video, the better the video will perform and the more they will push out the video to have more viewers see the video, the thumbnails and all that. Cause I mean, I've even bought TubeBuddy to help out with my SEO, but it just seems like that. Like it's a it's a big headache just even dealing with that and thinking about all that but like i said this is not y'all's fault but i would like to push that forward from here on out even if you're just like hey uh it has this youtuber he has a genesis it isn't it isn't the most flashy car of course i mean it's a hyundai but just uh go check him out and make sure So my camera really just up and died on me out of nowhere. I thought I had the battery charged, but I guess I didn't. But uh, I didn't mean for this video to be all long and drawn out. I really just wanted to see what y'all what y'all thought. If I'm thinking about stuff in a wrong way, or if I am making sense to what I'm thinking about, and if I'm not, then somebody let me know in the comment section. Triple loud. Not like it's all slow, but the motor was kind of loud. But this is pretty much a call to action for y'all to let me know, like, hey, PJ, you're going to get through this, or hey, PJ, I think that YouTube may not be for you. And what you're saying is, has some truth to it. And uh, I just want to know that in the comment section. And if I should try my hardest this year, or if I should try my hardest to see what I want out of life and then come back to YouTube maybe or something like that. I just want like guidance really. I don't want a counselor or anything because I don't feel like I need one but I just need to know if I'm stepping in the right direction with what I want to do with myself. It's a pretty big thing to ask of y'all I know but I mean y'all are here you subscribe for a reason and I don't want to leave y'all high and dry and left in the dark with anything so there you have it. That's what I've been thinking about lately, which is why I haven't been uploading really. And oh yeah, by the, by the way, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. I have not seen y'all since the beginning of December. And just wanted to say that and get that off my chest. But this is where I'm gonna end today's video. I know you probably don't like the video, but if you could just give it a thumbs up for me and let me know exactly how you feel about the video in the comment section. And I'll catch y'all in the next video. But always remember to do more, be more, believe more, and achieve more. And I thank y'all for watching.